For this video, I have uh, appropriated or rather nicked ideas from other people. So I'm using Gwen's salt and ink paintings idea, as well as Gordy's ink splot drawings. With that as well, I'm also going to use a technique called decalcomania. Uh, some of you will have heard, heard me use that term before in the group, and some of you have actually done it. So it's more commonly known as smushing paint between two bits of paper. Uh, and I'm just going to move the camera now so that you can see what I'm doing, okay? That looks okay. Excellent. All right, so as you can see, I have lots of paper. I've got paints, I've got a couple of inks, mortar, brushes, even a wee pipette. So what I'm going to do is what you do now is you lightly wet a piece of paper. Now you can just use plain water, which I have here, or you can make up uh, a dilute colour. So let's try the colour first anyway, just for a change. And it's really got not much in it, but it has got a little bit. And that will add to whatever you, you're doing. So we've lightly wet the paper. And then all we're going to do is add some colour to it. And I'm just going to squeeze out these watercolours and see what happens in these various shapes. And some of them, there's quite a lot of paint on it. Let's try an orange, because I love orange together. There we go. And then we're going to get another bit of paper. And this time I will, I'm just going to use that as a rag, use the plain water and see what happens. And there we go. Let's smush it together. Oops. Squished it a bit. So you're just smoothing some of the paint's coming out. Great. Let's see what happens. And then gently pull it apart. And there's my little decalcomania. Um, I don't know if you can see there. With it kind of the thicker the paint, it kind of you get striations coming through it, which are really nice. Okay. First trial. Let's get this out of the way. And let's get another bit of paper. Let's put some water on it. So this is a way of um, creating art without consciously thinking about it. Uh, it's also, in art speak, it's called automatism, but I prefer to call it playing and experimenting. So I'm going to use a pet this time just to maybe blob some things on it. And then just a little touch of the black because it kind of goes a long way, but I quite like it. There we go. Now with this, there's another thing you can do. You can get a piece of thread, wet it, and then just draw it through. Your paint. And now let's try this. There's also this other idea I was going to do. Just, let's just rip up a piece of this. I'm just going to show you in two seconds. Um, decalcomania was invented or discovered, one or the other, by a couple of artists. They were two of the main ones. One was called Max Ernst and the other one was Oscar. Now let's find his name again. Uh, Oscar Dominguez. Dominguez. Um, and Max Ernst had no formal artistic training at all, but he loved experimenting and that was his thing. So I'm just going to put that onto there. Hopefully it'll stay on when I move it. Um, let's do this, smush this together and see what we get. Okay. There we go. And we get left with nice blanks. These come off. And we come something else. So that's another little style. There we go, let's get rid of them. Uh, 
So once you've added your paint, as, as I showed you, you can move the thread through it. You can, I'll just do another quick one here. To show you, let's try that pipette because it's nice and it's quick. And maybe try, oh, let's try green. Take drop. There we go, let's try some green. But what you can do is I'm going to use another bit of this. much to paint, paint around before you start it. So you've got a little bit more control over what happens but not loads. So let's just do that I think. I don't know what this is going to end up like now. Um, oh, the other one. And smush the paint. It's a really enjoyable thing to do. Uh, if ah, so, there we go. That's that's another way of doing it. So you could use anything. I've you I have used a fork before, a pet. Um, I've cardboard. I've cut cardboard up and made little bits. Um, use a bit of stick. Use the back of a paintbrush. There's so many things. Just make marks before you even smush the paint, uh, and it'll have a different effect. So now I'm going to show you some work I did before. Um, when I feel stuck for ideas what I do is I make up a whole sketchbook. So here is a sketchbook. Uh, I did it ages ago and I haven't done any drawings in it at all. No writing. It's still just smushed pages. So yeah I started off not feeling very good and going oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then moved on to a few kind of different ones. So this is denting the paper with the I think it was the back of a paintbrush before I smushed it, and that's that's what can happen. Um, so let's try a few. Yes, there's a nice green one. Very simple, but a really nice base to then go on and do writing, do sketches, doodles, whatever you like. I quite like the hand one. Um, and there's the paper one that works really well. Uh, I think it's slightly better with the better paper and that's all really the difference. And the other idea was from what he's drawing back into is once you've done these, you can then draw back into you. So there's me drawing back in and doing a bit of doodle. Um, Gordy did his with figures. Uh, I'm not so good at figures so I just doodle instead. So there we go. Have some fun with the colours experiment and then maybe go back to it when it's dry and draw into the patterns. Uh, so here we go, I'll just move this back to say goodbye. So hope you enjoy and um, bye for now.